Loyola University men's basketball team finds itself among the best teams in its conference yet again this season. That's great. And they are led by a local product with a familiar last name. WMAR 2 News Sean Stepner tells us more from Greyhounds practice today. Sean. Loyola's Cam Spencer has taken his game to another level in his third college season. I'm feeling confident right now. Confidence is earned and he's earned his confidence. The junior guard from Davidsonville is leading the Patriot League with 19.4 points and 2.2 steals per game. He always knew he could do it. Not everyone did. Loyola was his only Division I offer out of Boys Latin. They took a chance on me, so I wanted to prove them right. With the goal in mind when I came here was to, to win when I was here, and uh, I think we've grown and grown each year, and it, it's nice to see that we're, we're winning now. He's not the first Spencer to win wearing green. His older brother, Pat, is one of the best college lacrosse players of all time and the best greyhound in program history. After a year of college hoops, Pat is now running with DC's NBA G League team. Cam constantly hears the comparisons. I've kind of heard it um, since high school, so I uh, think highly of my brother, so um, I just look at it as a compliment. Well, Spencer is no doubt the driving force behind a Greyhounds team that is off to its best start in Tavares Hardy's four years as head coach. They are 12 and eight overall and six and three in the Patriot League. This after coming up one game short of an NCAA tournament berth last season, falling in the conference title game. Certainly last year, um, being able to experience the championship game has made the guys hungry. That pushes us to, you know, get back in the gym every day to get back to that point because all we want to do is make the tournament. We've been there before and we can do it again and the goal is to obviously get there again and then get the job done. With Spencer's court confidence on full display. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.